As long as you're asking holding your bodily form, are you? <laughs> What I'd like to do, guys, is just remind you of your one-step equations, all right? Remember, when we're solving inequalities, we're going to treat them, Brian, just like we're solving equations. So we want to get our variable by itself. So we need to look at what's happening to our variable. Here, our variable is being multiplied by a negative 15. It's being multiplied. So to undo multiplication, we need to divide. We're going to divide by a negative 15 on both sides. Therefore, we have P is now, remember, so now what we have is, remember we're dividing or multiplying, we're dividing by a negative number. And remember guys, I showed you before why this happens, but when you divide by a negative number, you need to remember we're going to flip the sign. So it can be P is greater than or equal to, now how many times does negative 15 go into 90, and so it's going to be 6. So a negative divided by negative is a positive 6. Now what we need to do is graph this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a number line. And I'm just going to make a very simple number line. I'll have 6 in the middle, 7, 8, 9, 5, 4, 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dot at 6. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I need to do now is determine <coughs> what I need to do now is determine is it true at 6 or is it false? So what I can do is I can plug in 6 is greater than or equal to 6. And you say is that true or false? Well that's true because 6 is true, right Hunter? Mm -hmm. So you're going to shade it in. Then I need to determine where do I shade? Do I shade to the left or to the right? And I look at this and it says all numbers that are greater than 6 make the inequality true. So I look at two points. Is 7, I'm sorry, is 8 or 4 greater than or equal to 6? And you can obviously say 8 is greater than or equal to 6. That's your true statement. That's your false statement. And we need to get in the habit of always drawing or shading towards our true statements. So what that represents is now all numbers right to the right of 6 that are equal to 6 make our inequality true. Okay? That's how you do number.